Brightstorm has thousands of high-quality videos covering all major subjects. Please check out more at www.brightstorm.com. When you're solving indefinite integrals, there are some deceptively simple situations that require the method of substitution. Let's take a look at an example. First of all, recall the power rule for antiderivatives. The integral of x to the n is 1 over n plus 1, x to the n plus 1, plus c. Now, I'm going to compare two integrals. This really simple integral, root x, and this slightly more complicated one, but still fairly simple, root 4x plus 3. <clears throat> now, when I integrate root x, I can just immediately convert that to a power of x and use the power rule from up here. The question is, can I do that for root 4 pl 4x plus 3? I would get this answer, right? Just 2 thirds, 4x plus 3 to the 3 halves plus c, just following the exact same pattern. Now, I want to check this answer by differentiation to see if it's correct. So let me take this answer and differentiate it. And I have 2 thirds, 4x plus 3 to the 3 halves plus c. OK, the 2 thirds will come out in front. And then 4, 4x plus 3 to the 3 halves, the 3 halves will come out. And I have 4x plus 3 to the 1 half, right? This power minus 1. But I still have to multiply by 4, the derivative of the inside part. I have to use the chain rule. And of course, the derivative of the plus c is 0. Now when I look at this, I get 2 thirds times 3 halves. This is just 1. But then I have a 4 here. 4 times the square root of 4x plus 3. Now let's take a look at what we started with. The integral of root 4x plus 3. We didn't have a 4 in front, so this method has not worked. In general, it's not going to work unless you have just a single variable raised to a power. Right? The fact that I have a 4x plus 3, this is not the same as x. I have to use the method of substitution in a case like this, even though it's a very simple integral. So, integral 2 requires substitution. Let's, uh, let's take a crack at it. So I have the integral of root 4x plus 3 dx. Remember, when I use the method of substitution, I look for a composite function. And this is a composite function. I want to substitute for the inside part. So w equals 4x plus 3. And I want to calculate a dw. So the dw is going to be 4 times dx. Now, I have a dx. I don't have a 4 times dx. So what I need to do is multiply both sides by 1 quarter. So a quarter dw is going to equal dx. And this is what I'm going to replace my dx with. 1 quarter dw. So I get the integral of the square root of w times 1 quarter dw. Now, I can switch this to w to the 1 half and pull the 1 quarter out in front. It's 1 quarter w to the 1 half dw. And now I can use the power rule. Here, I do have just a simple variable raised to a power. So it's 1 quarter. I have to raise the exponent by 1, so 1 half becomes 3 halves. And then dividing by 3 halves is the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. This gives me 1 sixth, right? The 2's cancel. I get a 1 half times 1 third, 1 sixth w to the 3 halves plus c. And the last thing to do is, sub is resubstitute for w. I need to put a 4x plus 3 in there, so this is. 1 6, so, sorry, 4x plus 3 to the 3 halves plus c. That's my final answer. Not exactly the same as the 2 thirds that I thought it was before. This is the correct answer 1 6, 4x plus 3 to the 3 halves plus c. And by 2, I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> so if we had. No, that's not right. Three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? All right, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be doing a lot of work. You're going to be starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain 
hanging from two um, two fix. Yeah.